to collaborate with your team to share your project without worrying about commands and the command line then you need to know about this version which is github desktop so stay tuned and we'll work on this today hello and welcome to my channel helping you to improve your skills in programming in a simple and easy way here in this video i'll show you how to use the github desktop which is an easier version instead of using the command prompt the git command line here you can just use the this graphical user interface to do your job and make your life easier so let's get started first you can download this on your computer from this link i'll leave this link in the description below and then you can download it for your system either windows or mac here after downloading it you will see it on your desktop this is a very straightforward installation straightforward steps and here this is the first interface if you installed it for the first time it will ask you your credentials your username and password in your github to connect your local repositories to your own github uh, and to get started now we have a couple of scenarios i will start with the first scenario which is creating a new one new repository on your computer and then upload this to your account the github account so let's get started here just click on create new repository and then select the name and let's say here java project 2019 and here just description choose the directory where you want to save it i'll select this one on your local machine you can initialize it with a readme file and this is your path the path where your local repository will be available now click create and with this simple step you have one here now you can double check that you can go to the directory that you set and you can find it here this is the repository that you have you see that and remember this is the local repository it's not uploaded to github yet so if you log in and go to the github you will not see this one in your repository set so i don't have this repository yet now here back to uh, this one and uh, nothing no changes and here i can right away push this repository an empty one from here or here and you can go uh, right away to push this to your hub waiting a couple of seconds and then we can go from there back to your repository refresh your repository the github repository and here is it you see that this is the repository that you created it's uploaded to your github site and uh, let's start here on your local repository let's start by creating some files or editing the existing ones and here i will create java class and here you can just write any statement if you like and here is i am saving this file and if i go back to the desktop i mean to github desktop you can see the new update and these are the lines that we just updated you see that these are the lines it's showing you this is a nice thing that you can see that now nothing is uh, uploaded and if you go here to uh, github website refreshing nothing here so we need one more step here to commit this thing and here uh, adding and here just um, comment that you want to add and this is important comment that you need to add to let others know what you did on this file after then you can just go ahead and click on commit to master commit this and here is it it's committed and now you can go ahead next after committing this action you can push 
to origin from here or here and let's click on this one and then after a few seconds you can go back to the website github sites and you can see this one it's already updated so this is the first scenario and uh, you can always update and you have now two copies one on your local machine and one on github now let's go ahead and do the second scenario to clone some repositories from your site you can do this in different ways first way you can go to the url here and you can copy the url to this box so how to get this this is what the other partners will share with you or if you want to get one of your repositories to be uploaded so here you can go to github and then your repositories let's say i want this one to be copied click on it and here you can clone or download this one and go back paste it here and this will be copied to this directory that you created so it's copying and let's check if it is already there here is it so you can see this is the, your new repository so now you can do some updates here let's say today is 27th 19 and the time is 5 22 p.m save it and this will be saved in your local machine and now you can see the update here's the file that has been uh, affected changed and here we have a new line that has been added this is a line that we deleted maybe now you need to add some comments here new line and here click on commit you can commit this step and send it up push this to the repository to github now if you go back switch back to this site and github here refresh it and let's click on the file and this is the line that we just added now the third scenario is that what if i already have a project on my machine lock and i want to start using this so you can do add local repository and you can select the path this is my own one click ok make it as because it's not a repository yet so you can do it as a repository now initialize it with readme it's optional for you and create this repository and now you have this repository uh, connected but it's not pushed it's not synced with your machine now here this is your project and let's see here i will push it and this is your project you can publish it now let's go to our repository i mean to the github refresh you can see it here it's available now or you can go to this gear here click on your repositories and you will see this one available here this is your project that is updated and synced with your github now you can do some changes on this one and let's say on the source code here and this is the file this is the binary and here we can do some to null and we can save <clears throat> save this update and now if you go back you will see that file has been changed and this is the update version now here this is my comment commit this update and push it and you can see that update on the github let's refresh and let's read this one here and i updated this file and look at this this is the update here see that if you are interesting in learning more 
about programming and programming in C or Java, then I will leave some links up here. Thank you for watching and see you next time.